एवरीवन आज के यूट्यूब पे आई हैव द लवली वीर दास हु हैज बीन एंटरटेनिंग अस फॉर सेवरल सेवरल इयर्स नाउ एंड आई लव टू हैव दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन विद हिम थैंक यू सो मच वीर आई लव द सॉकास्टिक सेवरल 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 इयर्स अरे एकदम इट्स लाइक यू नो आई इट ऑलमोस्ट फील्स लाइक आई हैव सीन सो मेनी साइड्स ऑफ यू बिकॉज़ यू हैव आल्सो चेंज सो मच ओवर द इयर्स बट माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज लास्ट 10 सालों में व्हाट हैज बीन द बिगेस्ट चेंज जो आपने खुद में देखा है पहली चीज तो मेरा बैकग्राउंड एंड बाय बैकग्राउंड मेरा मानना ये नहीं है कि मेरा फैमिली बैकग्राउंड आई मीन मेरा एक्चुअल बैकग्राउंड where every room i've ever been in has been equally untidy as it has <laughs> in the last 10 years aapka room bahut acha se this do epic shit behind you and all of that stuff mera dekho plug point tar wagera sab kuch hai sab kuch dikh raha hai and uh, i think ye kafi symbolic hai mere life ke liye uh, ki uh, pichle 10 saal mein i think um shayad aap zyada funny nahi hote shayad aap zyada artistic nahi hote lekin अपने आप और अपने खुद के मैस को एक्सेस करना आसान हो जाता है तो जस्ट हु यू आर वो पेज पे पहुंच जाता है यू नो एज इयर्स पास बाय सो आई थिंक दैट इज व्हाट इज चेंज्ड इज जब मैं लिखता हूं जो मैं हूं एक्चुअली वो ज्यादा फोरफ्रंट पे आ रहा है आई थिंक दैट्स द ओनली थिंग दैट रियली हैपेंस इन डेनियल्स एंड दैट इज नॉट जस्ट फॉर नॉन फिक्शन और स्टैंड अप आई थिंक जब आप फिल्में uh, लिखते हैं या जब आप सीरीज लिखते हैं देन आल्सो यू यू आपने इतनी जिंदगी जी ले जी ली है कि यू स्टार्टिंग टू पुट पीपल फ्रॉम योर ओन लाइव्स यू नो इन योर फिल्म्स इन योर सीरीज इन योर स्टैंड अप देयर इज नो फिक्शन एनीमोर या देयर इज नो फिक्शन वन थिंग व्हेन यू रिफ्लेक्ट अपॉन योर लाइफ पर्टिकुलरली 20 सो अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ माय कंटेंट इज अराउंड पीपल इन देयर 20s एंड एक चीज जो उनको कंसिस्टेंटली टाई इन करती है व्हिच आई एम श्योर यू विल आल्सो बी एबल टू रिलेट टू क्योंकि हम भी उस फेज से गुजरे हैं यू मेक सो मेनी मिस्टेक्स और आपको ऐसा लगता है कि वो आपकी जिंदगी की सबसे बड़ी मिस्टेक एंड यू नेवर बी एबल टू रिकवर फ्रॉम दैट एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स लाइफ इज बिग इनफ यू गो ऑन एंड यू रियलाइज दैट नो यू हैव चांसेस इन योर ट्वेंटीज गो बैक टू दैट टाइम ऐसी कौन सी गलती मिस्टेक इवेंट सिचुएशन आपके साथ हुआ दैट यू फेल्ट यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू रिकवर आई थिंक बिगेस्ट रिग्रेट ऑफ ट्वेंटीज दो तीन सिलेक्ट रिलेशनशिप्स को छोड़ के आई थिंक बिकॉज यू नो चल दो पार्ट में आंसर करता हूं मैं आई थिंक इन योर ट्वेंटीज यू डेट द पर्सन दैट यू डिजर्व यू नो वो कभी कभी होता है एंड कभी कभी यू डेट पीपल दैट यू हैव कन्विंस्ड योर सेल्फ इन योर माइंड दैट यू डोंट डिजर्व यू नो एंड दैट इज लार्जली अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ हाउ यू फील अबाउट योर सेल्फ Oh, on moments me so i think definitely in my 20s i dated at least two girls who i'm like please don't leave me you know the pure relationship was like uh, please mere saath raho aap kahan ja rahi hai please mere ko chhod ke mat jaiye etc etc and nothing will push a woman away faster than that uh, uh, wo inherent insecurity lekin i think also late 20s mein maine ek galti kar di ki jab uh, filmon mein kaam milna shuru hua and tv pe kaam milna shuru hua मैंने स्टैंड अप को थोड़ा निग्लेक्ट किया यू नो स्टैंड अप के साथ आई हैड काइंड ऑफ रियूनियन जब मैं आई थिंक पैंतीस साल का था आई जस्ट फेल बैक इन लव विद आर्ट फॉर्म अगेन एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ लेड टू जो ये इनिंग्स है मेरे करियर का बट इट वॉज लाइक गेटिंग बैक टूगेदर विद इन ओल्ड लव हुड निगलेक्टेड फॉर अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड कभी कभी मैं सोचता हूँ कि अगर यार उसको यू नो उस पाँच छः साल में इतना निगलेक्ट नहीं किया होता आई वुड बिन सो मच फर्दर अ हेड इन माई कमेडिक जर्नी बना You no know, so that i regret i lost time with stand up got it got it and and uh, on, on that question itself it, it, it's beautiful that you say this because aksar hum aisa lagta hai ki aapne us cheez pe waqt nahi diya uski wajah se aap piche ho gaye hain and it actually hmm. takes a lot to even get started all over again kyunki Jee. when you came back into the stand up scene almost 7 years back it's not that you were the only one still like the world had mm-hmm. changed so many people had started hindi comedy had become a big thing hindi stand up had become a big thing there were people left right and center creating massive appreciation and yeah. love for what they had to do and you were in some way the og of it all and now you weren't and you had to start almost like a fresher 
How yeah. did that feel? Like, how did what did you even tell yourself to get started? Was say I'm always very excited. There's no happier place for me than the bottom of a ladder. I like being at the bottom of a ladder. Um, but what had happened to me or is I, I'm kind of doing my career in reverse. I really am in terms of <laughs> my India. I yeah, yeah, stand up scene nahi tha. So suddenly novelty ki wajah se. आप तीन साल तीन साल हो गए आपको स्टैंड अप किए हुए लेकिन आप हजार टिकट्स बेच रहे हैं यू नो आप बड़े बड़े हॉल्स भर रहे हैं एंड यू नॉट रेडी फॉर दैट यू नो एनी वेल्स जहां स्टैंड अप का प्रॉपर डीमार्केटेड सीन होता है जहां माइलस्टोन्स होते हैं टू ग्रोथ एज अ कमेडियन आप पहले दस साल तो क्लब में गुजारते हैं ना पांच पांच मिनट को लेकर यू होन दैट फाइव फाइव मिनट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा फिर वो पांच पांच मिनट को जोड़कर आपका एक बहुत अच्छा नब्बे मिनट का शो बनता है मैं सीधा नब्बे मिनट की शो लिखता था और हजार लोग पहुंच जाते थे सो आई हेड नॉट डिस्कवर्ड हाउ टू होन स्टैंड अप आई हेड नॉट डिस्कवर्ड हाउ टू रियली माइक्रो फोकस ऑन एवरी सिंगल जोक ऑन पेसिंग ऑन डायनामिक्स तो यू ऑलमोस्ट लॉस्ट एक्साइटमेंट ना क्योंकि हर वीकेंड आपको दो हजार लोग देखने आ रहे थे ऑलरेडी रीच वे यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एंड इट फेल्ट बोरिंग बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट राइटिंग न्यू मटीरियल एंड देन आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन में भी मैं यूएस गया था एंड कुछ मीटिंग्स थे एंड मैंने पांच मिनट का एक स्पॉट किया एक क्लब में लाफ फैक्ट्री में एंड आई वॉज लाइक यार आई फील बेटर एंड मैंने किल किया बी ऑनेस्ट कि आई डिड वेरी वेरी वेल एंड आई फॉलोड थ्री फोर कमेडियंस जहां इंस्टेड ऑफ वॉरिंग अबाउट माई सेट आई वुड वॉन्टेड देयर ऑटोग्राफ यू नो दे वो सो फेमस एंड आई वेंट अप एंड आई फॉलोड एंड आई फॉलोड वेल एंड आई एम लाइक अरे यार आई फील बेटर अबाउट दिस देन आई फेल्ट अबाउट द लास्ट थ्री प्रोजेक्ट दर आई डन Yeah. you know back home so then i cleared a year of my schedule you know and i just kind of traveled everywhere to small small clubs even in india i started workshopping in clubs and really kind of rejoined the stand up scene back then and then what you tell yourself is yaar i believe in purity of intention mm-hmm. you know I, i believe ki agar aap ek line likh sakte hain and uh, everything that falls within the pattern of that line you will embrace and everything that does not fall within the pattern of that line you will reject immediately so i think i wrote down on a piece of paper i said i want to be a global indian comedy voice got it you know so i want to create content out of india with an indian perspective that everybody in the world can enjoy so then suddenly everything falls into place now i have to travel mm-hmm. the world I can't mm-hmm. spend uh, nine months a year in vanity van in Malad. Me, you know, somebody is getting you a sandwich, etc. Where's it? Not going to happen. You know, so you have to really follow that intention. So I think that's what happened with me. Wonderful, fantastic, man. That's really nice. Uh, in which phase of your life were you earning the most money, or is it now? Uh, I don't nazar lagao, but life's pretty good right now. That's it. I'll I'll just say that uh, much. <laughs> oof. <laughs> okay how how do you how do you spend your money i have a rule jo mai aur meri wife ne set kiya and uh, mai abhi tak follow kiye ja raha hu uh, madam ne to chhod diya do mahine mein wo rule uh, lekin rule tha ki uh, i five t-shirts mere paas do pairs of pants hai do sweater hai ek garam jacket hai ek denim jacket hai ek uh, mere normal shoes hai ek workout shoes hai and that is my wardrobe that's everything that i own In my life, so this year I have traveled 25 countries without check-in luggage, um, exactly. just with hand-carry luggage. So the rule is, we will spend any amount of money on hospitality, food, travel, music, and experiences. Is pay chalo, first class chalo, sweet chalo, front row seats chalo, best restaurant in town. लेकिन मैं जीन्स नहीं ले रहा यू नो व्हाट आई मीन मैं लुई विटॉन का बैग नहीं ले रहा हूं आई एम नॉट बाइंग पोजेशंस एंड आई थिंक व्हाट हैपेंड वाज हियर कि अम हमको गोवा में 3 साल हो गए एंड वी केम टू गोवा मिड पेंडेमिक बिकॉज़ वी हैड अ डॉग हिज नेम वाज डॉक्टर वाटसन और वो काफी बीमार था एंड मिड लॉकडाउन में आई वाज लाइक यार ही नीड्स फ्रेश एयर एंड ही विल नॉट मेक इट इन बॉम्बे यू नो सो आई वांट टू गिव हिम a good last two years of life so we moved to goa lekin lockdown mein hum nikal gaye the right so uh, we only had enough luggage space to come in one car uh, wow. largely with watson ka saman and then second priority was my wife ka saman and i got to pack one suitcase you know 
and i came to goa in this house that is you know my landlord's uh, house and you know it, it was furnished etc but डेढ़ साल के लिए मैं वापस बॉम्बे नहीं गया यू नो वो पूरा घर बंद कर दिया हमने एंड देन आई डिस्कवर्ड यार मेरे को यही सूटकेस चाहिए लाइक आई डोंट नीड एनीथिंग मोर देन वॉट एवर्स इन दिस टाइनी सूटकेस दैट आई पैक सो दैट काइंड ऑफ चेंज माय माइंड सेट अ लिटिल बिट ब्यूटीफुल आई लव दैट डू यू आल्सो एक्टिवली इन्वेस्ट आई डोंट समवन मैनेजेस योर मनी वेरी बैड यार नहीं यार यू नो द थिंग इज एंड दिस इज प्रोबब्ली गुड एडवाइस फॉर किड्स मेरा I've uh, my mindset is unfortunately ki I always feel like I'm five feet away from poverty. I'm five feet away from being broke, you know. So I'm debt free. I have zero debt at the age of uh, you know forty three. I'm because I remember when I was twenty uh, one years old, I had a fifteen hundred dollar ka credit card debt, or wo bad gaya tha and interest ke saath wo ban gaya tha kuch you know six seven thousand. and at collection agents you know knocking on my door every week and repossessing my my possessions and i remember not having enough money to pay rent uh, to buy groceries and i think that affected my psychology where i'm like mere ko bank mein paisa chahiye bas kuch bhi ho jaye mere ko account mein liquid paisa chahiye and that's unfortunately my mindset so i should be smarter but i, I invest in business ventures so uh, maine abhi beer launch kiya and that took some money so i launched my own beer yeah nice. um i'm launching my own biscuit company next month I'm making biscuits wow. now you know um or uh, start a comedy company you know these things i like yeah. to invest in but uh, i don't know anything about stock market mere ko crypto ke bare mein kuch nahi malum uh, i don't think i need to anymore anyway uh, for crypto but you know what i'm saying <laughs> Got it. Awesome, man. No, no, that's smart. I, I, I think a great way of investment is actually putting it in businesses. And if you can put your weight behind that, though, why not? Get it. Beaches or mountains? Uh, beaches to live in, mountains, literally mountains to climb. Um, I'm a climber. Rock climbing, मुझको अच्छा लगता है. And in the next five years, I will climb um, some very big mountains. Is the plan. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um now that you have traveled so many countries and cities across the world is there a place outside of India that you would love to settle in if you had to? Two choices uh ya to Edinburgh Scotland uh, okay. because uh climate acha hai like the cold ek aisa country wala cottage kuch aisa do sheep do dogs you know I, I could settle myself there. they don't like the british much like we don't like the british <laughs> you know so <laughs> we get along uh, and it's central to the world or uh, cape, cape town south africa oh, uh, nice. mai africa mein i grew up in nigeria yeah um and wahan par 17 saal guzare maine to i definitely have a connection with africa so yeah <clears throat> brilliant money or power neither uh, art uh, and uh, I, i think money and power are both the enemies of art and 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 what through art what what's the what's the goal through art um to orchestrate an undeniable feeling that people will remember you for um so can you create a moment for an audience member they where they feel like they know you completely mm. and can they go home maybe not remembering who you are or what you said but forever remembering how you made them feel I think that's art. That's beautiful. That is. I love that. Speed or perfection? Sorry? Speed or perfection? Perfection. Uh I don't think it exists, but uh I I'm slowly as age aa raha hai mere paas I'm learning to be a little more essentialist in my philosophy and say chalo panch cheeze karo but theek se karo. And यूनिवर्स भी मेरे को अच्छी अच्छी थप्पड़ मारते रहती है एवरी टाइम हम लाइक चल ये करते हैं ये प्रोजेक्ट जल्दी से हो जाएगा इट नेवर टर्न्स आउट बी अ गुड प्रोजेक्ट एंड एवरी टाइम आई ऑब्सेस एंड रियली टेक माय टाइम इट एंड्स अप बीइंग समथिंग गुड व्हाट्स द वर्स्ट थिंग अबाउट यू वीर द वर्स्ट थिंग अबाउट मी इज मेरे पास अम ठहराव नहीं है पेशेंस नहीं है यू नो अगर मेरे पास एक आइडिया है मुझको कल वो आइडिया करना है एंड आई आई समटाइम्स डोंट वेट फॉर द यूनिवर्स टू ज्वाइन मी 
mm-hmm. you know so sometimes you need to uh, say okay i want to do this but har cheez ka time aayega put it in the line learn how to this thing but to me the thing i have just thought of is the most exciting thing in my life mm-hmm. um and sometimes i need to prioritize i don't have faith. and aapki zindagi mein koi aisa insaan hai ya koi aisa rishta ya relationship hai that keeps reminding you of this and saying don't be this person Uh, yeah uh, my wife uh, shivani is very much like are kal to you wanted to do this now stay on that road now what's wrong with you and also think the audience the audience is a very very good teacher who is the one person that you listen to um i listen to older comics i used to listen to my grandfather my grandfather was a, a buddhist leader and and uh, an ias officer so he had a big you know breadth of experience so i used to listen to him quite a bit and uh, my wife and my family will claim i don't listen to them but uh, little bit gets through <laughs> you know <laughs> and and it gets through after the fuck up and uh, in retrospect only it gets through so i listen very well in retrospect is is i think my <laughs> how i listen <laughs> like uh, after the titanic failed everyone knew how to save it <laughs> you know yeah yeah uh, what uh, is there uh, is there a part of your day that is actually undesirable like mai kyun karna padta mujhe apni zindagi mein uh post uh, 11 am <laughs> i'll explain <laughs> you know uh, please mera, my day my day is very sorted in terms of i am in bed uh, agar main stand up nahi kar raha hu i am hmm. in bed by 9:30 10 i'm usually up at 5 5:30 in the morning um 5:30 to about 5:45 6 o'clock i just kind of walk around in this room in this study and uh, main thoda sochta hu and i have a little um as hippie as it may sound gratitude ritual where i just kind of nice. say okay here's what i'm thankful for in my life nice etc nice. etc um i reach check in with that and fair 6 o'clock to about 8 8:30 dhai ghante mein likhta hu har roz wow and uh, that is my peak um so that is thoda music laga ke nobody is allowed to talk to me in the house uh, i shut my study ka windows and i just write for two and a half hours every morning chahe wo stand up ho ya film ho ya kuch bhi ho etc main likhta hu har roz dhai ghanta then i emerge and then i am less and less creative through the course of the day so i hit my creative peak by about 8:30 <laughs> am and then i'll have breakfast with shivani and usually by 11 am the calls and all of that stuff then the real world starts to wake up at 11 am Correct. but i'm best before the real world wakes up <clears throat> that's such a great one and and when you when you write uh do you, do you, do you also use a pen and paper or is it all digital it depends yaar abhi mera abhi ek experiment chal raha hai like you, you are the first time i've looked at my computer in quite a while actually you know the i think 6 days ago uh, i'm on a month long screen detox so, oh i'm uh, sorry for to be doing this to you <laughs> no not at all uh, no social media uh, i check email only once a day i check whatsapp only in the evening um and so right now i'm writing with a pen and paper and there's one Beautiful. device called the free write which is like a kindle yeah. Yeah. Uh, which doesn't have uh, any internet on it it's just okay. a word processor yeah. so it's like a digital typewriter so i'll write on that um but i also write on stage quite a bit uh-huh. so notes like if you stage pe chala jata hu and then that becomes things as well that's wonderful and fantastic um what's the what's the one or oh, no, no let me ask this question differently if you had the entire world listening to you ek minute ke liye har ek insaan duniya mein what would you tell them i would tell them that unke andar ek unrealistic voice hai um and that voice usually emerges when you are five minutes before you fall asleep lying in your bed in the darkness looking up at the ceiling that's usually when that voice comes and nine times out of 10 at that moment in time jo aapke hatreds hain wo nikal gaye hain jo aapke prejudices hain wo nikal gaye hain jo aapke stresses hain wo nikal gaye hain and that voice emerges and the entire world will spend a lot of time telling you that that voice is not worth anything 
um and that voice and that goodness is the most powerful and worthy part of who you are that's what i would tell people to listen to that voice very nice sorry if, I love if that. that was a little too uh, out there or anything like that nahi acha tha yaar bahut acha tha not enough people listen to that voice you know yeah i i i so i so agree with it i i, I don't think enough people spend time with themselves and which is why we are always hungry to spend time with others and seek validation in in others yeah. um got it awesome uh, have have you ever been interested in running and operating businesses like do you do you get that side um, is that energy inducing i've run businesses before you know two of them have succeeded one of them has failed and i think i uh, it's a weird one you know it, agar aap ek artist hain hmm. sometimes you will find yourself surrounded by people who are like are tum apna karo na hum business chalayenge you know tu jo likh na baki hum dekh lenge and uh, वो कार हमेशा क्रैश होने वाला है चलाएंगे या मैं सिर्फ अपना आर्ट करता हूँ आप बिजनेस करो एंड दैट नेवर वर्क इधर आई थिंक एक मिडिल ग्राउंड है जो मैंने अभी सीखा नहीं है बट यू कैन इन्फेक्ट योर बिजनेस विद योर मैडनेस Uh, yeah that's so true is, is there a company or a existing business that you would like to run just to see how that experience would be koi bhi i think in a weird way i mean it's, it's a very bad example to take right now lekin agar aap 10 saal pehle chale jaye hmm. what kanye west did with fashion hmm it's very interesting hmm you know how he was able to infect mainstream yeah. fashion with artistic madness yeah. you know i think that's the epitome of uh, of how well that's done and then of course he burnt it all you know to the ground but yeah. i think it still stands the test of branding you know makes uh, sense ryan reynolds with his uh, aviation gene is another very very good example of doing the same thing yeah. where he owned his voice for a commercial brand <clears throat> yeah yeah that that's actually true yes a, a, a song that you go back to when you're down and about hamesha it just works uh eh ajnabi dil se is a uh, all time favorite morning song and then i would say uh there's a song called baba or riley teenage wasteland by the who and that's uh kind of my before getting on stage song yeah nice any any uh, so that that brings me to this question any anything that you have to do like your ritual before getting on stage like ye to one two three four five things yeah it's very uh, it's very foo foo but jab main 35 saal ka tha i lost my voice and i went to a doctor right and the doctor was like aapne pichle 20 saal se you've used your voice wrong and you have nodules on your vocal cords and he's like you have to be quiet now for the next two months otherwise we'll have to do a surgery on your vocal cords etc so imagine yaar meri puri dukaan ye hai correct you know, pura life ye hai you know and i had been neglecting it for so long so then he was like you have to learn you have to treat your voice like a muscle to agar aap gym jayenge you need to warm up then you need to do your workout then you need to cool down so now i have to do a 10 minute vocal warm up and then after i get off stage i have to do a 10 minute vocal cool down so people think of comedy like hey beer piya shot kiya you know stage pe jaake fir sutta piya etc etc i am actually in a room just going ma 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 like it's, it's very <laughs> unglamorous uh, but that's what i do before i go on stage and then i think when i'm about to walk on stage typically i'm i'm stage right or i'm stage left and there's a moment where the the lights will go down and the crowd will go and say and you you know all of that I have a ritual where I block that out. I mm. actively choose not to listen to that, um, and I remind myself that I have to put the audience first because I think uh, a lot of artists can get lost in that moment. I certainly did for about four or five years, so I actively yeah. block that out. Beautiful. Do you uh, read, Veer? Do you read books? I uh, I'm dyslexic. Yeah, to me, audio books uh, audio books is my uh, is my saving grace. and I've, any I've, any any one book that you would highly recommend everybody to hear or read um things you can uh, the love of imperfect things by hayman sunim 
is a very very good uh, book uh what else did i read it by stephen king is my favorite fiction yeah. book of all time and what else to do i'm reading a book called the nazis because i'm obsessed with world war 2 but that's a good audio book so yeah yeah i've uh, <clears throat> world war 2 se yaad aaya there's this book called 1944 if i'm not wrong that's the name of the book and uh, really highly highly recommended on world war 2 if you want to oh, get yeah, yeah. Uh, it is and an audio books uh, if i may make a recommendation bahut badhiya book can't hurt me by david goggins um oh, yeah. it's uh, but david goggins is that uh, the joe rogan guy na the uh, alpha male uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, so, right. unreal story like absolutely wild life कहाँ से वो कहाँ पहुंच गए एंड एंड इज रिकॉर्डेड इट इन इज ओन वॉइस एंड वो बहुत पैशनेट स्पीकर है एंड ऑफकोर्स ही यूज इज कस्टवर्ड विद विद द ब्रिलियंट इम्पैक्ट दैट इट डज सो इट्स वंडरफुली नरेटेड हाईली रिकमेंडेड वन ऑफ माय बेस्ट ऑडियो बुक्स इफ यू डू गिव इट अ ट्राई बिकॉज अभी मैं यू नो आई एम आई एम इन दिस फेज राइट नो वे आई एम ट्रेनिंग फॉर अ फिल्म दैट आई डू मे बी सेप्टेम्बर अक्टूबर बट आई एम बॉक्सिंग आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू बॉक्स इन स्कूल सो आई एम काइंड ऑफ बॉक्सिंग थ्राइस वीक अबाउट थ्री आवर्स अ डे ट्रेनिंग टू बॉक्स तो मेरा जो मैं एल्फा मेल तो हुई नहीं बट ये जो एल्फा मेल मोटिवेशनल स्पीचेज है ना यू गेट समिंग मिक्सिस राइट दैट यू कैन पोट इन यूर्स वाइल यूर स्पारिंग एंड दे लाइफ इज एन ओवर ये बीट वर्ल्ड अप एक्सेट्रा 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 एंड इट्स वेरी पावरफुल लिस्निंग टू सम दैम एंड दे रिमाइंड मी ऑफ दिस डेविड गॉगिंस काइंड ऑफ वर्क लास्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू वाइंड अप Yeah. First one. Um if you could go back to your 20 year old self and give hmm. that 20 year old Veer a piece of advice, kya bolenge aap? You already have everything you need. And don't let other people take it away from you. Beautiful. That's the advice that I would give. I, I think a lot of 20 year olds convince themselves I need this from this guy and yeah. that from that guy etc etc. and then when you get in the rooms with these very very big people that you are hoping to get things from what they really want is what you already have you know your authenticity or your voice um so stop trying to adapt to other people's voices you have what you need your voice yeah yeah beautiful i love that uh what do you think will be the most expensive since you are uh, such a minimalist in that sense what what do you think will be the most expensive thing you'll ever buy veer i think like a a writing cottage somewhere uh-huh. you know like a a place i go just to write i think that will be the most expensive thing i buy nice awesome last question what are you most excited about right now any new project any new thing coming up yeah man uh, so i haven't acted in a year because i spent the last year touring so this is an acting year so i'll do one indian series i'll do i'll star in a hollywood romcom i'll hopefully make an american tv show and i'm going to direct a horror movie so that's my year right now Direct a horror movie. You <laughs> mean direct a horror movie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that wasn't a joke in the passing. You mean it? Yeah, no. But uh, by the way, horror and stand up are exactly the same thing. <laughs> the timing of a horror movie and the timing of a stand up comedy show are exactly the same timing. You're trying to get an involuntary reaction from people and surprise them around every corner. So yeah, I'm directing a not a funny, very scary movie. Hopefully. Wow. That is uh, that's something I look forward to. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for spending time, man. This was lovely. I got to see a new side of you. Thanks for doing what you're doing, yeah. and all the best. Keep rocking. Thank you, man. Thank you, and I appreciate your your being so great with all the you know the moving up and down and all of that stuff. No, no, no. Absolutely, yeah. no problem at all. All right. Take care, Veer. All right. the best. Have okay, a lovely thank day. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. Bye. मेरी नई किताब गेट एपिक शेड डन अब मार्केट में अवेलेबल है इस किताब में मैं 36 ऐसे सवालों के जवाब देता हूं जो आप अपनी जिंदगी से शायद हर रोज पूछते हैं बहुत सिंपल किताब है एक स्टूडेंट और एक टीचर के बीच में एक कॉन्वर्सेशन में ये किताब लिखी गई है इस बुक को खरीदने के लिए लिंक अमेजोन का पिन कॉमेंट और डिस्क्रिप्शन में है